Uh, yes, Dr. Waller. I suffer from COPD. I was wondering if you could help me with that. Okay. And to... uh, how old are you, sir? I'm 68 years old, sir. Okay. And how tall are you? I'm 6'2". Okay. And how much do you weigh? Approximately right around 213. Okay. Now, do you have any history uh, as a kid of, of asthma or, or bronchitis? Yes, I've had bronchitis before as an adult years ago. Yes. Okay. And then, did you ever have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea? No, sir. Okay, no. any bowel problems, any constipation, diarrhea, appendicitis, irritable bowel syndrome? I've had diarrhea off and on. Okay. Not, nothing consistent. Mm -hmm. But just off and on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just off and on. All right. There's actually... A hormone, a hormone that's required to keep the bronchi, the, the main airways, where they branch off from your trachea. One, bron one bronchi goes to the left lung, one bronchi goes to the right lung, and they'll get small. The, the inner, inner um, uh, space inside those bronchi will get um, a smaller diameter than a ballpoint pen if you don't have that hormone. Your, your lungs like to make that hormone, right? But it could, takes raw materials to do it. And so um, very, very oftentimes... Uh, people with COPD or um, really severe asthma, uh, these sorts of things will be caused by deficiency of that hormone. Now, um, let's see here. Char? Yes? We're talking about a whole combination of respiratory stuff, right? Okay. And um, one of the reasons why a person might not get the raw materials to make that hormone to keep those bronchi dilated, which should be about as big around as a uh, nickel or a quarter, as opposed to a diameter of a ballpoint pen, okay? Um, what, what's happening? Why could you not ab absorb that nutrient? I'm, well, I would imagine it's because they have not ab absorbing it because they've got a gluten intolerance and they can't. Okay, and Donald has another little symptom. He's got diarrhea every once in a while. Which he, is a gluten. Yeah, which can go along with gluten problems. And he has a history of bronchitis as a younger person. And so, I mean, I get people call me at 1 in the morning, their doctor says they only have hours to live, and we give them the 90 cents of nutrients plus that raw material, and these respiratory issues get better. And so they, they get taken out of the sort of emergency room crisis situation, okay? But you have to do this constantly. And so what would you give this guy, what would you give Donald, in addition to a gluten-free diet, what, what program would you give him to deal with um, respiratory problems in general, and also to give his lungs the raw material that they need to make that hormone to keep the airways dilated. I give him two healthy brain and heart packs. Okay. For, for general. Yep. Just well, actually, he's going to get a lot of that raw material in there, and um, uh, he, he needs to take uh, six of those capsules at breakfast and six of those capsules at dinner time, and he'll be able to do that with the two healthy brain and heart pack. Okay, that'll give him the 90 cents of nutrients. And so the, we go there. He's going to be gluten free. And then, what other thing would you add? Well, one thing you could add would be the uh, oxybody. Very good. Get some oxygen going here. Oxybody said liquid. I'd go ahead and a guy your size, uh, Donald. You could take uh, two quarts a month of the oxybody. It tastes very good. It's kind of a cherry berry flavor, and it's an oxygen supplement. It's a liquid oxygen supplement. You can take an ounce. Um, an hour before breakfast, an ounce, an hour before dinner time, and that will help uh, um, increase the oxygen uh, levels in the blood. Okay, it's an oxygen supplement. And uh, what else? What would you do to help um, the body's stem cells make things? Uh, give them the immortalium. Very good, very good. Okay, get yourself two bottles of the immortalium, and uh, that will, again, um, kind of support your stem cells activity, the ones you have, and encourage your tissues, including your lung tissues, your bronchi tissues, your trachea, uh, to make more stem cells so they can do their jobs. And then call us in two weeks and four weeks and six weeks and let us know uh, how the COPD is. Anytime you go to the doctor, you get some kind of assessment, let us know what's going on there, and uh, we'll walk you through this. Very common stuff, okay, but it is uh, something you can deal with.